Welcome to today's video, y'all. Hey, hey, lovies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Corey. I am a mother to four kids, three girls and one boy. I am married to my high school sweetheart. We are rolling up on 17 years of marriage. Um, if you like my content, if you like this video, please subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you are not new here, thank you so much for your continued support. You guys know how much you mean to me, you know how much your support, you know, drives me and propels me forward. Um, in this video today, we are actually going to be discussing habits. I have 15 habits on this piece of paper that I'm holding that um, they're daily habits and I am trying to break them. So I know we all have habits. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. The habits I am going to be discussing with you guys today are not necessarily my favorites about myself. So I feel like if I tell you guys about those habits and I tell you guys that I am working on breaking those habits, that I have to show accountability, right? So here we go. You guys will see that I'm looking down at my paper. If you know me, you know I have MS. I have to write everything down. So if I'm stumbling over my words or repeating things multiple times, give me a break, guys. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. Um, alrighty. So the very first habit is hitting the snooze on my alarm clock guys, if I'm setting my alarm for five, there's a reason why. And I really just need to wake up and do what I need to do. Um, when you set an alarm and you snooze it, it sets you back so far. And so I want to work on not hitting that snooze button in the morning and just waking up, getting going and moving forward with my day. So that is something that I am going to be working on over the next 30 days. And actually in 30 days time, I'm going to go ahead and upload another video letting you guys know how I'm doing with each of these habits that I'm trying to break. Um, oh geez. Skipping a daily workout. We all know when we work out, we feel better. Um, I work full time. I'm a mom of four kids. I'm helping my kids with virtual learning. I am a wife and when I'm done with my day, guys, I just want to sit and do nothing. And in the mornings when I wake up, I'm hitting that snooze button. So I am not getting up and doing my workout like I should be. And really, it could be a five-minute workout. It could be a 25-minute workout. It could be an hour-long workout. However, I'm not doing it. So my goal is to start a daily workout. Um, okay, so the next one is my cell phone. <laughs> you guys, I fall asleep with my cell phone and when I wake up in the morning my cell phone is the first thing I'm thinking about that has to stop um obviously I'm doing YouTube so I'm responding to notifications I'm responding to emails to text messages yada 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 but you guys I need to set a limit not a limit but I need to put my phone down at a certain time every day and not pick my phone up until a certain time every day so that is something that I am wanting to work on um, all right. So this is a good one. Um, somebody can say something to me and I react or I act before thinking. So I want to be more intentional with what is coming out of my mouth towards my husband's, my husband's, pff, my husband, my kids, my friends, my family, my coworkers, you guys. Um, it's not always that I react, but if it's, um, a negative topic or a topic that I don't really know how to explain it, but I want to be able to sit with the, with what's being said, fill it and then respond before I react, um, whether that's negatively, positively, whatever I want to kind of sit with what I'm hearing and then react. I hope that habit makes sense because I seem to react before I respond and that's not the best way to go about things. Um, <clears throat> uh, gosh, number five is kind of a hard one. I work from home. I'm a medical assistant and I work from home. Um, 
And the last thing I think about you guys is waking up every morning, doing my hair, getting clothes on, um, putting on makeup. But I really feel like if I do wake up in the morning and I get dressed and I do my hair, I feel so much better. And so I'm going to try and make that a daily habit. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, geez. Not going to bed too late. I have a really hard time falling asleep at night. I could be so tired and I could take my sleeping aid and I just don't fall asleep. Or I only fall asleep for one to two hours and then I wake up and I'm up the rest of the day. Um, so I really want to try on, try unwinding and at least being in my bed by nine o'clock, 10 at the very latest. Um, and that's after obviously putting my kids to bed brushing my teeth, brushing their teeth, doing all of those things. I want to be in my bed relaxing without my phone <laughs> um, to try and properly unwind, maybe with a good book, um, maybe with just having a conversation with one of my kids or my husband and just trying to fall asleep and be more intentional about getting in my bed and unwinding and falling asleep at the right time. Um, geez, <clears throat> I really actually want to work on cleaning my high traffic areas in my home every day. Sometimes I do it the majority of the time I don't and I just let things kind of fall by the wayside, but I really need to be doing that more often um, just because I feel like it's something that I should be doing and it's something that I'm not necessarily doing on a daily basis. The next one is eating out. We probably eat out two times a week and well, probably not the best thing that we should be doing. However, we try when we're eating out, we try and eat more healthy, um, but we are still doing like the fast food chains and we really should be focusing on other things and or what we really should be doing is making more home cooked meals. So that's something that I am definitely going to be working on. Um, so here is a really good one and one that is really important to me. And that is being very intentional about my relationship with my husband and my relationship with my kids. I want to start dating my husband again and um, working on our ever-changing and growing relationship. And I want to start being more intentional with my kids. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm already intentional with my kids, but I want to try and separate each one of them and be more intentional with each one of them and something that really drives them and kind of builds them up and moves them forward. So that's kind of what I mean by that one. Um, geez, cursing. I don't really want to swear anymore. Not that that's something that happens a lot. However, I do. I drop the F-bomb. Sorry. I know. It's horrible, but I do it. Um, and I really want to work on that. I don't want that to be something that just falls out of my mouth. You know, I want to think of and educate myself with better words. <laughs> um, the next one is following my calendar to a T. If I write it down and it's on a date... I want to make sure that I do exactly what is on that date. Um, if it's something that could be moved forward or backwards, obviously I can adjust it as needed. But if I'm writing it down and I'm putting it on that day, it's because I need to be doing it on that day. And so that is something that I am going to be working really hard at. It's just like a nine to five job, right? If you work nine to five, you have to be there. You have to show up. You have to perform. You have to do what you need to do. And so I feel like if I'm writing it down on my calendar, it needs to be as, an, as important as my nine to five job. And I need to be doing it and performing at my best. So that is something I'm going to be working on. Um, geez. So I don't drink a lot of soda, but I do want to stop drinking soda. So the only soda that I am currently drinking or have currently been drinking for a while is Sprite or 7-Up. I want to completely remove that from my diet and replace it with water, 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 water. I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to replace my coffee because there's water in my coffee. But I am going to be replacing my Sprite or my 7-Up 
with water. So, um, oh geez. Okay. So I want to be spending my time and developing relationships with people who are like-minded, right? Um, I have some friendships and some people in my life who are naysayers and they bring me down and they um, don't necessarily build me up and they don't agree with things that I'm doing in my life and or they agree but they don't believe that I am capable of or that good things will ever come for me and my family and I need to be focusing more on the people who are like-minded people who want to build others and people who want success for other people um, so slowly I am going to be working on trying to only be in a relationship with like-minded people or people who value me and people who want to be in a relationship with me um, and too much TV I watch a lot of TV and or a lot of YouTube. <laughs> the amount of YouTube I watch is kind of insane. And so I am going to be buckling down and watching the people who bring value, right? We don't just watch YouTube because we think the person's cute or we just watch because we have nothing better to do. At least I don't. Um, and I hope that my subscribers or my followers or my friends and my family are watching me because they get something from my channel. Um, so I'm going to be watching people who are educating me or bringing some sort of value to the table. Um, I'm not just going to waste my time watching any YouTube video. It's going to be something that I want to watch and something that I enjoy watching and or somebody who I enjoy watching and getting to know better. Um, I hope that one makes sense and sounds the way that I want it to sound and I hope that you guys interpret it the way that I want it to, to sound. Um, and I'm only going to watch TV shows maybe once or twice a week because I watch a lot of TV and I'm okay with watching a lot of TV because I'm only watching it in my pastime. But I could be doing so many other things and I could be building relationships with others, my husband, my kids, my friends, my family, my new friends, my old friends what have you. Um, and so taking away something that I'm getting nothing from, such as TV, I would rather kind of set that to the side and work on other things. So um, the very last thing is going to be, oh geez. <laughs> okay, sad. Why did I write this down? It is junk food. I'm going to be trying to remove junk food from my diet. Guys, I eat chips daily. Mm. I um, love donuts. And there are so many other things that I love and if I have, I'm gonna eat it. So I'm just going to try and remove those things from my diet, remove those things from my kids' diet. I'm going to try and cook more often, home cooked meals, more fruits, more veggies, more water, and um, I'm trying, right? These are all um, daily habits that I'm trying to break. And so these are the first 15 things that I could come up with, the first 15 things that I feel like could benefit other people. And so I am sharing that with you guys. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video with telling you guys how appreciative I am of you. Um, I hope that you can feel that. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, or anything that you feel like I could add, to um, changing on my channel or with these habits or whatever, comment down below. If you guys feel like this is something that you want to do, comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And just so you guys are aware, I hope and pray that each one of you guys find value in this video and really I just hope that you guys can find something that drives you and propels you and pushes you forward in life because we all deserve nothing but the best. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. And just so you guys know, I love you so much and I am absolutely so thankful for you. So have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching.
If you guys got this far, I just want you to know how thankful I am. Please subscribe and join my family.